welcome back to another episode of Good Luggage. On this episode, we are going to be testing out the Built Hamber Touchless. Uh, the new product that's after coming out from Built Hamber. Oh, it's a bit dark in there. That's a bit better. Um, new product after coming out. Well, it's actually out a couple of months now or whatever. Um, but Touchless from Built Hamber. We're also going to test the touch on that comes with it as well, or what's associated with it anyway. And the test that we're going to do is to find out whether or not built hammer touchless is actually touchless or not so basically going to foam the car rinse it off use the the touch on then and see what sort of outcome we have from it so it's um, yeah as it says on the tin it says touchless so let's try it and touch it and see what happens So for the test we're going to be using the trusty old character and then some of the eagle eyed viewers that may have seen in the past there um, I actually have a stubby gun which I'm going to be going into a bit more detail soon and I'm going to just use the use the stubby gun use the my old um, snow foam lance that I have as well so this stubby is actually in testing at the minute trying out different things and hopefully in the future there I'll have some sort of a video coming out then to I suppose tell you about how I got on, what it's like, so um, right, let's get set up then. setting up every time you want to go car washing. I just wish I had my own unit or something that's everything all set up already to go. One, two, three, it's about 300, eight, three, six, four, give or take. Give me 4%. By the way, the video for PIO ratio up there. PIOR 4% on setting 4. Now, let's get connected up and see. Now, possibly the way you should do this is by doing a shampoo stage in between this and the touch on. I'm just going to try it without shampoo, so just, so just completely touchless. It doesn't do what it says on the tin as such. So, um, car is completely dry, no rinsing, just going straight in, not even doing wheels or anything. Just want to see how it tackles all the dirt that's on the car. Go for it, see. Nice and easy. Now, let's see. Straight off the bat, okay. Straight off the bat, it seems a little bit foamier. Um, but can't say for certain. It seems to be dwelling the same amount of time. So, so a bit foamier, and you see all the dirt coming off it anyway. Um, so we're going to leave this for five minutes dwell and see how it power washes off then. So.
um, so it seems to be drying in quite quick but I do have a five minute timer on it and um, there's definitely a lot more a lot of dirt coming off the car anyway normally I would do a pre-rinse before putting any snow foams around there um, but it's quite interesting to see if you don't if you put it on the car dry see how much dirt is actually coming off it so um, as you can see from here there's actually quite a lot of dirt streaming down and it's still streaming down off the car as well um, hasn't dried up yet it looks kind of it looks a little bit greasy but maybe it might last a little bit longer I'm not quite sure um, anyway we'll we'll hit it with the jet now after five minutes I don't know what the timer is at now let's see a minute left then on this one so um, we we'll start rinsing it off after five minutes then also just to note the stubby lance that I'm using um, it's actually from Clean Tech, the same guys who did the hose, this 15 meter hose that I have. Um, link can be found up in the top corner, wherever it is, or for the, the video that I did on it. So we're testing this, testing this lance and all the bits and bobs that come with it. Um, just waiting on the foam gum to come down. Um, but look, so far so good. It's first stubby that I've used, and um, I'm supposed to still get used to it. But more to come in a future video. Then. dirt running off there. Not so bad. Let's keep going. Now in order to see what way it's really like, I'm going to dry it a small bit. I don't know how much charge is left in this thing, but give it a go and see what sort of dirt it's taken off. I don't know how well this will work, but you will see. Looks good. Looks good from here. Definitely not ideal on the wheels, but Wheels are wheels, there's dedicated things for those. Not all off, is it? Seems very greasy. Greasy, greasy. Okay, so that's gonna take me forever because the car isn't coated or anything like that, so it's just, it's, there's no point in even trying to do that. Um, so I'm gonna give it another few minutes there just to see what it's like when it dries up, because it's a bit windy today, so it should dry quick enough. And once we're done then, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean out the, the foam cannon now. And the directions on the touch on say, I think it's 30 mils so actually, put that into the, into the reservoir, into the, um, the foam gun, and just spray it on, see what happens. Okay, so what I've done so far is rinsed the rinse the foam out of the bottle and I'm gonna go for the instructions on the touch on and see what they say. Right, so uh, 30 ml touch on crystalline hydrophobic treatment. How to use vehicle must be cool and out of direct sunlight, which it is. Pre-wash with touchless cleaner. So we've done that to remove dirt or contamination on your paintwork. If further cleaning is required, use auto wash, concentrated shampoo, and noodle wash. So we're kind of trying to see how much. This one's actually telling you that you, you need to use the shampoo if, if you do need it, if there's still more dirt left afterwards. So we'll just wait and see what happens here. So two methods, each sachet, empty sachet into empty power washer or Lance Reservoir, which is the foam thing, top of a clean water and apply it low pressure. Then pressure rinse away and dry vehicle with a microfiber cloth. Or empty it into a 15 liter bucket of warm water and apply using a wash mitt. So it says, you can put it into this or you can do it with a wash mitt and obviously using it onto the car so i'm using the first or and seeing how well it does then again we're going for the whole touchless thing as such we do not recommend applying more than once a month the car must not be allowed to air dry as water spotting may occur okay so we won't let this air dry on it we'll, we'll wipe it with a microfiber or a drying cloth then so so let's see so for opening the sake does it open easy it does Brilliant. Yeah, it's going in. It's a handy little sachet, actually. It's not like your ketchups you get at McDonald's, which tend to go everywhere once you open them. Okay, that's all in. Let's bring it back up to one liter then. So 
so the instructions also did say apply it low pressure apply it low pressure then pressure rinse away so I don't know how low pressure we can get but turn up to five on the on the on the foam bottle to get the most amount of concentration out of it once I don't know will that do the job or not but sure we'll see let's have a look at the car and see what it's like after the touches oh, it's looking all right so right still dry obviously um there's still a good bit of dirt down the bottom as you can see um on the car itself i don't know that's dirt obviously still or dust or something anyway i'm gonna get a little swab and see what it's like Right, so the best I could do was get these just cotton wool balls. So, just do a swipe. I don't know, can you see it or not? Hang on, turn it down a bit there. Might be just too bright. Let's do it again on a different side. There's a little bit of dirt. Not much. Now, the car is all swirled and everything like that, but do it down here. Let's get a clean side. Clearly, see a load of dirt left in there, yeah. So it hasn't taken the majority of it off, but sure, we'll see. See what happens with the shampoo when that happens. Kind of see on this side, it still looks a bit dirty. Um, like it does look dirty there. Is that clean? Yeah. It's still showing signs of dirt. Um, anyway, we'll see the shampoo on its own. Will that relieve uh, any of the dirt off the car then? It really is quite a tricky one to film this whole process. Obviously I was going to, I was thinking about comparing it with auto foam, putting it side by side and doing all that sort of stuff. There's a couple of people that have done that on the internet already and seen exactly what it's like. I just wanted to see, is his touchless, touchless? That's I suppose the whole reason for me not actually going out with a with a mitt or doing anything like that just to wipe it all down or anything. So um, I'll do a little walk around the car to show you what it's like now. It's looking kind of clean. You know, there's still, I don't know what that is there now, where that came out of, but that's only new, I haven't seen that before. Wheels wise, the wheels would definitely need, hang on, if we brighten that up a little bit. Hang up. Wheels wise, they definitely need a dedicated cleaner. There's still just some of the stuff that is not taken off those fully, like inside and stuff, it's just not, it's not taking everything out of the wheels. I mean, it's gotten a lot of the dirt off, but it's still just, I don't know, it's very hazy, but I think that's just the paintwork anyway. So it's, it's not done too bad. On the exhaust then, metals or anything like that, still obviously a bit of dust and stuff on them. Down the lower parts, that's still all kind of very dirty. Now that's very tough to get rid of anyway at the best of times. So it just didn't, didn't fully get those bits. But anyway, we'll go with the shampoo and see what happens. It'll do any more. acting in it as well. Definitely something else. So that's crystalline, whatever it is in it. Doing something. Side. It's quite chalky on it, so that's why I'm saying, or I'm sure they're saying, don't let it dry in because that will water spot like mad. I'd say. So we'll rinse it and uh, dry it off as soon as possible. Then, ah, there you go. <laughs> Thankfully, it's my car, but that's what can happen if you don't check your quick release spray it away from your car duh that water 
Her behavior is deadly. See it? <laughs> Anyway. Now I'm just thinking about it, I don't really want to put the microfiber or the drying tile onto it because I don't fully understand how well it's dried. So we'll just do the blower on this this other section here that I tried earlier on. Obviously, it's not it wasn't protected, but now this has these sort of I don't know what sort of properties it has, some sort of cleaning properties and ceramic properties and crystallines and no gases, no solvents, no fucking everything. So uh let's try blowing this and see what happens or see how well it dries up. So there was definitely no protection on it before that and I'm sure you remember how bad it was to try and dry it off with the, the dryer or with the blower, it wasn't working at all. This has definitely added some sort of um, protection onto it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and vehicle dry, or vehicle dry, blow dry, vehicle car blower, vehicle dryer, dry it with air and uh, I'll come back to you when it's all dried up then. Right, so is touchless, touchless? Um, it's no, it's not. Um, there's been a couple of videos that have been brought out and they have said that, oh, we're going to do, you know, oh, we think we need to do use the mitt and stuff to, to agitate the, the car and stuff like that. So basically, uh, the, the whole theory of this test was to, without using any contact or whatsoever, was to see how actually well the product did. So it did, it took off a lot of the, the dirt and grime and stuff like that. It's going to be better than auto foam. Not convinced as of yet, anyway. The shampooing stage is didn't you know obviously with no agitation or no uh, contact or anything like that it doesn't really do a huge amount more bar the fact that it that is the touch on product bar the fact that it adds a little bit of a protective layer and you've seen the the, the beading or the whatever the way the, the water hydrophobic effect how that was working out then but there's still still a lot of dirt on the car it still looks hazy and kind of dirty there's a couple of marks old old water marks um, the likes of bird etchings and stuff like that. There's a big bird poop on the on the window and it hasn't taken that off So I think it's not touchless. It's not touchless put it that way. Sorry So we'll do a walk around the car and I'll show you back to our rear quarter Um, you can see from hang on to turn this down or dark it a bit Okay Hopefully you can see from where I was doing the swabs there earlier on and um, there's still obviously dirt Still on the car, you know all around this area. So if I do, swipe my finger You can still see that it's still dusty or dirty underneath obviously there that's always a really dirty part so it just hasn't gotten rid of absolutely everything a couple of bits that I've missed but um, again still you're dusty whatever it is or not I mean it does take an awful lot of stuff off it all right but I think it may need like a citrus cleaner or some sort of a thing before you actually go putting it on um, again here I have to go back down a bit it's still it's all it's very dusty um, my glove is dry here how do we get this on bloody camera? Maybe that's better. It's still all fairly dusty. Now I don't mind rubbing this off because my car's swirled and whatever anyway. So anyway, walking around again a bit more. You see this obviously this big water stain that was on it hasn't shifted that or anything like that. So a bit more, you know, you definitely do need contact washing to get rid of these types of things. I see it just runs all the way down the car. Yeah, as I said, it's still dusty. You can see if I didn't didn't obviously dry it properly there with the dryer. It's very hard to use that dryer as well on the car that's uncoated, but still fairly musky, fairly hazy. There's a couple of little flies and still, you know, it's not it's not gonna take off those flies that you really need some sort of agitation to get that. You might see it better on this side. Oh Jesus. Here's my lock nut. You can take that off. Good thing I was actually washing the car now to see that. Just change the discs inside. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, down here, still dirty along the, the bottom edge of it. The car still looks dirty. 
So it does. I mean, it has cleaned it up a bit, but it still looks dirty. Like, there's the... It hasn't taken everything off, I don't think. It just needs agitation. It has taken an awful lot of stuff off, but there's the uh, bird poop. Come on. There it is. So that's still stuck on the window. It hasn't come off. So yeah, overall... Ah, look, it's cleaned it, but it's still not... It wouldn't be of a proper standard, so it definitely needs... Definitely needs that bit of agitation. You can't use it as a standalone product now. So just walking around it more and more, I'm just trying to think to myself, yeah, like, for an everyday user it would look, it's definitely cleaner than it was, it's still dusty looking, still musky looking, um, but what I wonder is that if it was a coated car, if it was waxed or sealed or whatever like that, would it actually make some sort of a difference then? I tried to keep my car dirty for these tests and stuff, jeez the hair is mad. Um, yeah, so I try to keep my car, car dirty-ish where possible anyway, in order to be able to carry out some certain tests and whatever I'm going to be doing in the future. Yeah, it'd be interesting to try the same test on a coded car. Maybe some of you can do it or have done it in the past. Let us know in the comments if you have done it. It would be interesting to see. Like, it's... It's definitely cleaner than it was, but... It just, it does need that agitation just to get the last bit of muskiness off it and you notice it, it's just it's up close it's still dull looking and um, now i know the car is not properly polished or anything like that it definitely has cleaned it that's 100 percent. it definitely has cleaned it somewhat but it's just not to not to standard i suppose as, as regards if you were a full-fledged detailer you know like that line down from the mirror there will annoy the hell out of me but nothing i can Nothing I can really do now, unless I washed it, obviously, but I'm going to just leave it, see what it looks like. So let's put a bit of water on and see what the that shampoo or that touch on has done with the bonnet. As an example, it's definitely beating it off anyway, so there's obviously definitely protection that's been applied from the touch on. Like it's just, it's, it's coming straight off, which is great. So it's definitely not lying when it says uh, there is the hydrophobic properties or whatever it says about the, the touch on. But obviously, the car is still dirty. It's just not. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be up by standards to be clean, but uh, so be it. So is it any different to auto foam? Um, it's very hard to tell at the current state. Unless you put the two of them together side by side, it's going to be very hard to to figure it out. It did seem a lot sort of foamier at the start. I don't know if that's a new characteristic of the, the product itself. It did seem to, it, it just seemed to last the, the exact same amount of time as Autofoam did as well. So it, as regards being different to it, I don't see the difference as of yet. Now I know it's a little bit more expensive. I think it's about two euros more expensive than the, the Autofoam. And from talking to, um, I was just kind of doing a bit of research on it and stuff and I was talking to John in Forensics over in the UK. He says he, he'd he be much better doing tests than I would be. He says that yes, he has found a noticeable difference between them. Um, now he's obviously done a couple more tests. He's, look, he's a lot better at doing chemical tests and all that sort of stuff than me. But as regards for startup, beginner detailing or whatever you want to call it, I haven't found too much of a difference between the two of them. I have a load of auto foam left. I have a five liter of touchless. I'm still going to use the touchless up anyway. So maybe I might be able to, in a future video, find some sort of differences between them. As regards a major difference, I don't see it. Hopefully in a future video, I might be able to do some motor test or on a coated car and we'll see if it is any better or not. So, um, so is touchless, touchless? I don't think so. You still need some agitation. Simple video, just to show, does it actually work or does it actually say what it well, means on the tin? Just a simple video to show whether or not it is actually touchless or not. I don't believe it is. It needs agitation. Yeah, very simple. Hope this kind of explained a few theories or what you might have been thinking, whether or not it is a contactless wash. If you liked the video, please let me know in the comments. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe down below, and um, we'll see you on the next video there. Thanks a lot. Bye.